The great crypto crash of October 10th, 2025, Friday was due to too much leverage. So let's go ahead and talk about what auto deleveraging is, also known as ADL. When we're talking about perps, there's not a whole lot of Bitcoin. It's mostly just kind of paper, pile cash, however you want to name it, or with any asset for that matter. The system does balance longs and shorts by putting up margin. Let's go ahead and talk about the definition of margin. It is the collateral required in a financial trade or loan. So basically you're putting capital up to take out this loan to trade a particular asset at a particular size. When you have really, really volatile times in crypto, when the price moves too much, some traders can lose their cash and get liquidated. When you are liquidated, your entire position closes and you lose all of the collateral you had put up. And liquidity is key here because that's what the market relies on to do anything, especially rebalance. And when there's no liquidity, you can't buy, sell, or do anything. It kind of halts the market. So what happens when a position gets liquidated? It's sold into the market at a fair price. So traders can essentially rebalance, enter into a trade, exit a trade, whatever that is. But if there's not enough liquidity, you can't handle the transactions. Handle liquidations, buying, selling, any of it. So then an insurance firm steps up to fix things. But of course they have their limits and are very serious about risk management. They're just not gonna give money to high risk individuals, trades, entities, whatever that is. It's a business, they're here to make money. For example, if the centralized exchange cannot handle the volatility, auto deleveraging kicks in and it forces prof profitable shorts to close their position to rebalance the market. So basically there's so much activity happening, they have to make room to include profitability. So you know when you book a flight and there ends up not being enough room and they kick you off, that's what this is. Basically the trade is too crowded. They can't add any more, so they have to throw someone out. And unfortunately it is a last resort when there's nothing else that can be done. And unfortunately it's usually triggered by some of the most profitable positions with the highest leverage because it's easy to push them out. And it sucks because essentially you're forced out of winning positions, but it's necessary to prevent a total collapse. So ADL is just there to ensure the system remains solvent when there's not enough liquidity. And some people say it's there to ensure no one loses more than they have to, to protect the market overall. But who is the market? Who's winning here? Are traders winning here or the exchanges winning here? Are the market makers or the insurance companies, whatever it is. So moral of the story is here, it's absolutely terrible that this happened and so many people got wrecked, so many people got liquidated. But at the same time, if you are not an experienced trader, you have no business using leverage, whether it's on a DEX, whether it's a centralized exchange. Furthermore, liquidation is a real threat. You can lose your entire position. And the thing about using leverage, you can make a lot of money really fast, but you can also lose a lot of money really fast, especially if a catastrophic event like this happens again. And unless you are a profitable trader on paper, you have no business using leverage. And even if you are a profitable trader on paper, maybe you shouldn't use leverage. Trading spot is fine too, but again, trading involves risk. And also another friendly reminder, the market does not care about you, your feelings, your hopes, your goals, your needs, whatever that is. There's always somebody else smarter with more capital, with more tools, more technology on the other end of the trade. And I'm not saying that to be mean, it's just the truth. Moral of the story, liquidity is incredibly important. But another thing that's super important too is sometimes taking no action and sitting on your hands and watching things just play out. Also too, if you are going to actively trade or use leverage, make sure it's a very small stack or small percentage of your stack. If your net worth is $10,000 and you're using all of that to trade, that's a big no-no. One to 5% is decent. Some people do 10%, which is a bit high, but you have to remember the market doesn't care about you or your feelings. And you don't want to give everything back to the market. Anyways, sending you guys love and light. I hope this helps.